Whoa, we're right in the middle of a battle. Hey guys, this is NHSTO6. Welcome back to Shiny Gold X Part 19. We're going to continue um, waiting this one out. See if we can catch this Sudowoodo here. Just letting Leech Seed work its course. I don't really have any intentions to uh, attack it myself, so I'm just kind of using pointless moves until it uh, is whittled down enough that I can throw a ball of greatness at it and hopefully catch it. And also, um, sometime in the next few parts, we might be able to catch our fourth team member. Kind of exciting, in my opinion. Alright, I think it's low enough that we can start throwing great balls that I purchased at it. Here goes nothing. Here goes everything. Yay! Yay, we caught it! Not gonna use it. Let's give it a nickname. I don't really know any. Actually, I don't really know anyone. That would be fitting for that, so no. <laughs> Sorry, any of you female watchers who were displeased by that, but just couldn't think of any off the top of my head. Alright, so here we got the creepy twins. And Jeff is fainted, so it looks like it's gonna be a Todd Trellior combo. Let's see. Let's give a super potion to Todd. It's pretty rough there. Maybe we can get started on this. Never mind. I was almost about to give something up. Mobby! Alright, so Anne and Anne mm, challenged us. They have a Clefairy and a Jigglypuff. We're going to go ahead and focus on the Clefairy here, because it's the more dangerous of the two by far. Okay, never mind. What a kill, I'll take it. Oof. It's pretty good special defenses for a Jigglypuff. Just make a drain, it should be able to finish it. Hopefully. Yeah! Woo! How's that feel, Jigglypuff? How's that feel? Alright, so Ann and Ann are down, and we're mean, according to them, because they are losers. And here's a Psychic, with their floating purple balls, with a Drowsy. Todd is a good choice for this one, because he has Bite, and I don't think Drowsy has the best regular defense, so... I'm going to rage it, because I don't think I can take it out with one more Bite. Aw, oh, you jerk. I think I have Awakenings, though. We'll find out. Oh, I do. He uses his uh, Hypnosis again. Okay, good. Ha! fail. It's not even the move I was going to use. Tricked you, and I got a critical. It could have come a few turns earlier. Psychic like Greg clearly needs to work on his uh, clairvoyance. We are now in a new city with the music from... Uh... Oh, cutscene. Hi, I'm Bill, and who are you? Hmm, Patrick, huh? Pat Pick, huh? You've come at the right time. I just finished a just... Adjustments on this Pokemon Center trading system. They had some problems lately, so I'm always busy. Don't you worry, I'm done with the adjustments. You can trade as much as you want. Totally will. Now, if you head back to uh, Goldenrod and you go to his house, which I showed a few parts ago, uh, he'll give you an Eevee. So if you want an Eevee, go for it. But none of the Eevees currently really... Um, they don't really... They're not my cup of tea. They don't fit my fancy... The shoe does not fit, therefore I will not wear it. Now we are in Ecrutec City, or Ecrutec. I think it's Teak, sounds better. And as such, we have a gym. But, upon heading into this gym, let's see what this guy's say. Oh, okay. We'll come back. We'll do that later. Not in this part. Oh, yes. Here's something that makes this game a little, a little different. This double battle right here. Darling, it's raining! Well, I just needed to see this place. It's supposed to be a mystic place, so I thought it could be the perfect romantic place. That's a lot of the word place. Place, place. Place, 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 place. Dante and Rena. So now they're going to show us the power of love in a double battle. It's kind of cool. Dante and Rena. They're a cool couple. They have a Volbeat and an Illumise. Or an Illumise. 
And we're going to go ahead and Thundershock, because I think they're part flying. We're going to do our best to just take them out. That's a critical. Ouch. Ha, fail. No! Jeff, why do you have to be so slow? No! Don't be confused. Yeah, Jeff. Eh, neutral effectiveness. I'll take it. Gonna have Jeff finish off the other knees there, and then we're gonna... Gonna go with another mock punch. Or finish off the Volbeat. We're gonna focus on uh, attacking the Illumis now. I always thought these Pokemon were kind of weird. I have no idea what that Volbeat's doing. Doing its little attracting other lightning bugs dance, I guess. And I don't know if this is true or not, but I think that these are the only Pokemon who are intentionally separated through gender. That probably doesn't make any sense, but it makes sense to me saying it. If they're intentionally different genders of that Pokemon, at least in this generation, and you can't have, you know, you can't have a male um, Illumise or a female Volbeat. That's what I'm trying to get at. If y'all know what I'm talking about. Jeff is now the leader of our team in terms of levels. He's trying to learn Cotton Spore. Nope, Cotton Spore sucks. Trellior also gets a level. Cool. Level 26. And Dante and Rena were defeated. Gives a lot of money, too. <laughs> Their power will defeat us next time. Whatever, Trevor. Alright, so let's head in the burn tower here. Oh, look who it is. Oh, it's you. Some legendary Pokemon here, huh? So he's trying to get them so he can be the best. This music sounds definitely really strange sped up. Alright, here's a Sableye. This is pretty much the same thing as last time. Not really a affected by much. Nightshade is... oh yeah. Detect is kinda like uh, protect. It's effectively the same thing, just a, a rhymed word. And it was Ice Punch. Didn't really have it. Ah, that sucks. I didn't really use any of the uh, punches against us in our last rival battle. That rival battle was a butt. Ah. Oh, don't use Super Potion, you wuss bag. Just gonna keep spamming this Thundershock until it goes down. It's the only move we can use since Sableye is Dark Ghost. Ha, ah, there we go. Nice. About to use Absol, huh? Well, I know for a fact that Dark types are very weak to fighting types. So, Trellior is an excellent choice here. Use the Mach Punch. Should do a fair amount. Nice! Yeah, good choice. Double Team Spammer. Surprised? I'm not. Ugh. That was quick attack. Ha, ah, Absol's no match. Absol's so random, I don't know why you'd want one. They're just, meh. Let's see. I'm just gonna keep Trellior out. Don't really have a good anything to go up against a Bayleaf. But now it's paralyzed. Should be able to fare better than last time. Give the mock punch. Boom! Just gonna keep headbutting us. And this is where super potions come in. Yay! Headbutt. See if we can't leech seed it. Ugh. Oh yeah, I forgot. Silly me. We can still mock punch it to death. And the best part about mock punch oh that's that's not cool. The best part about mock punch is since it's so fast, you'll always attack first regardless if you uh just healed or not. We should really wait until that uh reflect goes down to continue attacking it. It's gonna be a while though. So we're just gonna keep mock punching it regardless. Even though you know synthesis. We don't really have too much that's good against these grass types. That's, to be honest, there we go. Yeah. Should be able to finish it off next turn unless he uses synthesis. Ah, ha, ha. What? Ugh. You're a jerk. Two of them in a row, though. Ah. We're going down this turn. Yeah, baby leaf, taste it. Mmm. Nido King, huh? Seems like a Todd thing since Nido King is ground and poison. So we'll give it a water gun. Focus energies and then try to get it so we can critical attack more, but Oh yeah. Feels so good. Oof. 
Ouch. But as you can see, that was a critical hit, and Todd still survived that. So that's just a testament to the fact that his regular defense is complete beast. As long as it isn't critical, there we go. That's what part of the focus energy was for, so he critical on me. Ugh, almost. Ah, he's confused now. So he's probably going to choose to heal this turn. If not, then hopefully that confusion will kill him. Ugh, Shadow Ball, huh? That's interesting. It's not a bad choice. Oh yeah, it's done this time. See ya! Yeah, and you killed yourself. And Ty gets a level up. So he is keeping par with the others. So Skylar goes down definitely a lot easier than last time, guys. Awesome, 5600 Pokey Dollars. Alright, that's all the time. We'll explore the Burnt Tower next time. See you next time. It's a lot of times. I'm Manchester Steel 6. Bye.